Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video on medical tourism. Today I want to go over four things you should have in your contracts with overseas healthcare providers. So you're a medical tourism facilitator, you contract with overseas healthcare providers, what should be in your agreement with those overseas healthcare providers? So the first thing you want to have in there is what you expect from them, right? Uh, a list of things that you expect your patients to have access to when they fly to these overseas healthcare providers and fly to their facilities. So things like you want them working with licensed and accredited doctors, uh, certain things you expect them to have in their facilities. So these are just stipulations you want to outline with their overseas healthcare provider and make sure you guys have a clear understanding of what you expect and how you expect your patients to be treated when they fly to their facilities overseas. The next thing you want to have in your contract with the overseas healthcare provider is the percentage you'll be paid or the agreed upon terms of payment. So if you're doing a percentage, what will the percentage be? And you want to have that clearly outlined in your agreement uh, with the uh, with the healthcare provider. Also, the time frame you'll be paid, right? So after the patient that you send them get the procedure, then when will you be issued payment? Will it be 10 days? Will it be 15 days? Will it be at least 30 days after the procedure? What will be the time frame that you'll be receiving your payment or compensation for sending them this uh, this client? Um, also, you want to have a indirect referral clause in there. And when I say indirect referral clause, now we obviously know you're going to get paid once you send them a client and the client gets their procedure done. But what happens if the client flies to the overseas destination with a companion or with a friend and that friend or that companion decides to get a medical procedure done? You want to be compensated for that as well. Or what happens if the patient that you refer this overseas healthcare provider, if they refer a family or friend uh, later down the road, you want to be compensated for these uh, for these indirect referrals. So you want to have that clause in there as well. And as you can imagine, there's a whole host of other things you want to have in your agreement with the overseas healthcare provider. But these are some fundamental things that you want to have included in that agreement. But thank you guys for watching this short video. If you're looking to get access to contracts, I'm going to leave some links below to our contracts as well as our membership programs which also include um, our contracts uh, and this is one of the contracts that's included in that but thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one